Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. This second video will discuss the enzyme selection tool for APE or a plasmid editor. Uh, it, we will uh, discuss how to create a plasmid map with the restriction endonucleases or even without restriction endonucleases as well as utilizing the digestion tool which basically predicts the the number of bands that will that will be uh, that will be present on an agarose gel if you run an electrophoresis after a restriction digest so let's get started firstly if you wish to create a plasmid map with just the plasmid sequences and the highlighted uh, features you'll go to enzymes graphic map enlarge it and that will be your plasmid map as you can see it highlights the features that we labeled in the previous video and in the middle it shows you the 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 save file name so i saved it under uh, the plasmid sequence i mean i saved it under three times ere tata or tata luciferase plasmid and it also shows you the full <clears throat> the full length of the plasmid which is 575 base pairs if you wish to see the plasmid sequence in a linear fashion you simply go to the top right here see the circular button you click it and it will automatically switch to linear so let's take a look at it again graphic map and it shows you the linear diagram although with with the features labeled on there it could be a bit difficult to maneuver through but whichever whichever is whichever mode is convenient for you you can go ahead and use that but we'll keep it circular for the remainder of this video so now let's take a look at another graphic map plus u here this shows you all the restriction endonucleases that have cut sites present on the plasmid sequence itself now, as you can see, because there are a lot of uh, enzymes, uh, the, the diagram shrinks a bit. So it might be a bit difficult to identify the cut sites with such a, such a zoomed out picture. But uh, for this tutorial, or this demonstration rather, we'll take three enzymes so that the picture is a bit bigger and it's easier for us to see and we can decide what to do, which part we can cut. It will make it very convenient for us. So let's close this. Uh, before we close it, we'll choose STI1, ECO or ECHO N1, and HIND3 for the demonstration. So if you wish to select particular enzymes, you go to Enzymes, Enzyme Selector, and then you left click on the enzymes you wish to choose and sty one here then if you wish for the sequences at which they cut to appear on the plasmid sequence itself you simply click highlight and it shows you here and then you can highlight it or drag your cursor over it and then let, uh, right click and label it as a feature if you wish if not you can keep it highlighted in red like so and if you look at this part when I hover my cursor on the left of the colon it says the name of the enzyme and on the right it says where it cuts and that arrow that small try the small uh, arrow that points upwards is where the enzyme cuts so it also identifies exactly where it cuts on the palindrome, but you can easily locate that <clears throat> on Google or on the NCBI website, if I remember correctly. Uh, so <clears throat> that's for uh, that's with regards to highlighting. Now let's take a look at the digestion. So let's make sure that the enzymes we want are selected. Close this, then we'll go to here, digestion, you have digestion and multiple digestion. But before we look at those two, let's take a look at the ladder. Here you can edit the ladders that have been <clears throat> preloaded with the software. But for this demonstration, we'll just 
choose the 1KB plus also shows you the uh, the shape of the ladder as well as the sizes of the DNA so we'll take 1KB plus and then we'll take a look at digestion and multiple digestion I always use multiple digestion because it allows you to select and deselect the enzymes you chose depending on your preference or what you would like to see and then you click OK so here it shows you lane 1 which is the ladder and lane 2 the plasmid after it underwent restriction uh, digestion let's enlarge this so if you wish to know which band was created by which enzyme you simply hover over it with your cursor like so and on the left you see the black turns red which indicates the highlighted portion it might be a bit difficult for you to hover with your cursor on the thin bands so you can easily do that on the left side here and it will pop up on the right side it might be a problem with a resolution on my laptop uh, the reason behind why everything is so small on the program probably because I'm using Windows 10 I'm not really sure but uh, uh, probably uh, you will have a better resolution than me when you're using the program hopefully if not then uh, I empathize with you because my eyes are I have to squint every time I look at certain things on the program <laughs> But yeah, this shows you the prediction of a restriction digest on an agarose gel after you run uh, after you run a restriction digest on a gel electro after you run an electrophoresis. Sorry. So that's the end of the enzyme selection tool video. And in next uh, in the next few videos, we'll discuss the remaining features that. I am aware of of course if anyone watching this knows more please comment below so that I can learn from you and others can learn from you as well I hope this was of benefit to you and I'll see you in the next video thank you very much for listening